Hello everyone, it's Caddy. I'm back with another video for you guys. This one is for December Daily. Um, it's also for the Spico Mom Scraps Design Team. So I'm going to be using lots of her wonderful goodies from the shop. So I did pull out a bunch of goodies, which you see there to my right. I'm not going to use all of those things, but I do use a few things from the shop. So I'm beginning by heat embossing my numbers. These numbers are from Freckled Fawn. Uh, they do uh, go all the way up to 31, which I love, so I can do the whole month of December. And I'm just embossing them with um, white embossing powder. So I'm just dipping it into the Versamark embossing ink, which for those of you that don't know what it is, it's just a sticky ink that you can um, just dip your your things into or, or just kind of squish it over um, whatever it is you want to emboss and then you just pour the powder on it and then you heat it and it melts so I did all three since I'm doing days one through three for this little spread here and uh, basically I kept it a, a one double page spread because I didn't have a whole lot going on so I just kept it really simple and um, I'm using these sheets of paper these uh, this polka dot sheet of paper the red one is from the American craft so is the blue one I believe um, the teal one there with the stripes. They're from the American Crafts Good Tidings uh, paper pad. It's a 12 by 12 paper pad. I cut the papers down to 6 by 6 because 6 by 6 is the size of my album. So uh, I pulled out these letters as well. These are from Freckled Fawn and I'm going to write out my, uh, I guess my title, which is Buddy's Back. And Buddy is our elf on the shelf and he did come back this year. So he um, is there on the bottom right of the picture. You can see him there. That was on day one. And then the picture on the right hand side, that was day two. He was sitting on our um, in our bathroom on top of the tissue box. <laughs> so I have these circles. These are from Michaels. They're from the $1.50 bin. And they're just circles, which I actually use for my planner a lot to decorate my planner. But they're just little circles and they're stickers. So I cut them in half and made them into half circles. And then I'm going to create sort of a little scallop border there at the top and I'm just alternating between the uh, ones that are blue like completely blue like the teal color and then the ones that are white and then have a teal border so I'm just alternating and just creating a little border there up top and I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom of that page but with red ones so uh, just for some little added detail font and texture that's what I love about this project um, you can keep it as simple as you like or you can be as detailed as you like my pages in the end are pretty simple, but I do like to add little small details like this. It just makes it fun, and it's just um, part of the fun of it for me. So I'm super behind on this project this year, like extremely behind. Like this is the first uh, page, and it's like mid-December already, so I plan on catching up <laughs> slowly but surely. I'm not going to stress myself out. I am going to get it done, but I, I'm not going to stress myself out. I have a lot going on, so I'm just going to take it easy and just try to enjoy the process as much as I can. Um, so, yeah. So this is going to be page one. Basically, I was going to add a few more pictures there on that left-hand side, but I ultimately just decided to go with the, um, with the one picture of the elf. And you're going to see that and how that's going to come together. So here are those red circles I was telling you about. And I'm just going to use a few there. I'm going to use, I think, five circles there down the center. And again, it's just something really simple, but it adds a nice uh, little small detail down there on the page. So, yeah, I really like how that turned out. And then I'm going to move that buddy's back, back up <laughs> because it just was kind of getting lost there at the bottom of the page. So one thing I am going to do to those letters, which I'm not going to do it off on camera. I'm going to do it off camera. Those letters from Freckled Fawn, they're kind of like an off-white. They're not more like even, I wouldn't say off-white. They're more like a gray, like a grayish white. Like they're not true white. So I will go over them with some white paint, just white, um, cheap acrylic paint. And then I'm going to run my Wink of Stella pen over it, which doesn't work very well. So I don't really get that much glitter. But um, I'm going to run the Wink of Stella pen over the uh, letters. So... Um, that's something I will do, um, and you will notice in the still shots that the letters are a lot brighter, uh, bright white. So I took this, um, I took some white American Crafts cardstock, which you can find in the shop, in the Spiegel Mom Scraps shop. Um, and I just used my uh, border punch there with the little scallops, and I punched out a little border. And kind of to mimic the border there that I have up top, 
So I just added that and created sort of a little bit of a separation between the, um, the two pattern papers there. And you can see when I have my number next to those letters where it says Buddy's Back, you can see that they're not white. They're like more of a gray tone. So um, in this particular case, I wanted them to be a little bit whiter. That's why I went in ahead and painted them. But you can see the difference there when you put it up against something else that is white. And I decided also I didn't want my title to be completely straight. I wanted the letters to be kind of staggered. So I go ahead and do that. And then I'm just cutting some strips here of that gray paper with the diagonal stripes. They're white and gray stripes. And I'm just going to add a few pieces. Um, one up top there, as you can see, and then one at the bottom there where, um, where the little scallop border is uh, behind my photo. So yeah, just again, just some little tiny details that I add to my little page here. And I really like how this came out. I think it came out really cute. It came out really, really simple and really cute. So I was happy with it. And it came together pretty quickly. Um, mainly I was just, um, I kind of know where to start to be honest. <laughs> um, I've been very, very busy. A lot going on. You know, I mean, the month of December is busy as it is <laughs> it's crazy and then I just have a whole lot of other things going on so it's just been a little bit busy so I really I just had not you know sat down and started doing this <laughs> and it, once I did I was so happy because you know it is something that does I do enjoy doing it I do s enjoy sitting down and creating and especially this project which is so great um, and it's so nice to go back I really I did my first December daily last year and I loved it and I just really wanted to make sure I did it again this year because it's really nice to look back at the little small memories that happened throughout the month. So um, while I was yapping away, I used some sequins. Those are like white, um, they're like, they're, what are they called? Um, I can't think of the word, but they're like a white um, sort of uh, sequin, flat back sequin. And they are from a mix that is called Fairy Tale Mix. I don't think that mix is in the shop anymore. If you don't want this particular white sequin that I'm using here, you can find them in the uh, Happy Dance mix, which is a really pretty spring mix. You can find those same white ones in there. And they're just like a white, um, like opaque white. Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. But they're really pretty. They're just white and they add really nice detail to the page. So, um, I also added some little cork hearts down there um, to the bottom there. So that's another little detail. Uh, these two pictures that I'm working with right now are two pictures of my boys. Um, that The one to the left is going to be from the morning on the first day, so the 1st of January. Uh, I'm sorry, January, December. <laughs> um, and that morning they just uh, woke up and they, they found Buddy or Elf. Who had come back and they just took a picture of my buddy and then in the afternoon my mom had taken them to get a haircut so i just have a picture of them with their haircuts so just uh kind of a side by side comparison and then i am going to write out haircuts on top with some little tiny letter stickers so i'm taking this tag this is from the same paper pad the good tidings i just cut out there was a whole um 12 by 12 sheet of these tags and then I just cut them out and I'm going to use that one. I'm just doing a little bit of embellishing here with the same, um, that gold glitter, uh, uh, what is it called? Glitter tape that I used on the left hand side, which is from Michaels. It's from a Recollections Michaels um, washi tape pack. And then I did the same gray diagonal stripe and I'm just using some of this white and red twine to tie to my ribbon. So nice and simple and it turned out really cute and I'm just gonna lay the two pictures of my boys one thing I am going to do is I'm gonna print those pictures um, I'm gonna print three of the pictures that are gonna go on the right hand side in black and white only because the pictures in color since the especially the one on the left it's a little bit dark the background is dark even though I lightened it in my in one of the editing programs I did lighten it but it's still dark and my boys are wearing dark shirts so it was just a really dark photo so I, I made it black and white and then I lightened that and then I'm a lot happier with that end result <laughs> it looks a lot um, brighter and nice so I did do that and uh, let's see what am I doing here I'm adding that gray and white stripe paper 
to all of the backs of the numbers. I also added it to the pictures that are punched out in circles. If you notice the pictures that are punched out in circles, the picture itself is not a full circle, only because of the way that I printed the photos in my um, computer. I created a collage in an app, um, and then I printed them off like that. And then I could not punch out a full circle of the picture. So I just punched out what I could, and then I just punched out another circle with the pattern paper and then added it behind it and it kind of serves as a mat for the photo. So that's an idea if you have a picture but maybe you can't quite uh, punch out a full circle of, of what you want. You could always uh, just cut off uh, either either side or one of the sides and then just add pattern paper behind it and it works just fine. And you can see the one there on the right hand side, the circle with the number two for day two. That one I just um, punched out the left hand side and then the right side I cut off and added pattern paper to the back. So it's something really simple to do if you have that situation. So day one uh, was just the haircuts and Buddy uh, came back. Uh, day two there was absolutely nothing going on. Um, something I will journal about. I will add a little tab, uh, tag, I'm sorry, in the back which I will make a little pocket and tuck in and I will add my journaling just really simple journaling and I'm gonna add just that on day two my boyfriend and I we did go visit a family member of his in the hospital um, she's fine thankfully she's okay she's out but we did go visit her on that day and then day three there was absolutely nothing going on either <laughs> so literally nothing going on I mean the month kind of started out just very busy but really nothing to document so or I didn't really have time to document anything or take many pictures so that's why um, day two and three fit perfectly on this page because it was just you know very uneventful so I was able to just kind of combine all three uh, days in one little spread and again it came together pretty quickly once I kind of knew where I was going with it it came together quickly so basically for this year also I want to keep my album um, or try to keep it <laughs> as thin as possible last year's album does not even close so I want to at least be able to close this one properly <laughs> so I'm gonna try to cut back on the dimensional elements even though I have my numbers are dimensional they're wood veneer but I if I can keep it kind of simple like this then I think I could probably accomplish a thinner album this year so I take that other piece of that scallop uh, paper that I had cut up um, and I'm going to use a piece there on the top right hand side next to the photos and that's actually going to be the only piece that's going to stay in the end um, just that piece up there and um, the, when I print the pictures in black and white they're going to be slightly bigger than the color ones so um, you're also going to notice that in the still shot that the pictures are slightly bigger than they are in color so yeah now I do also add on top of those little hearts where I have the white sequins. I do add these tiny little sequins that I have um, right here. You see them? Uh, they're just recollections. It's like a whole little sequin pack and I do add them. They're like fuchsia which is the color that I'm using in my album. I'm using red, teal, and fuchsia. So I'm going to add a little tiny tiny little heart to the center of those sequins as well. Again just for the little detail that it adds. So that looks really, really cute. And that brings in a little bit of the fuchsia color that I'm using in my album this year. So um, that's kind of, it's kind of an interesting color scheme. Um, I was going to do red and teal. And then at some point, I just decided I wanted to bring in the fuchsia. <laughs> um, I really like the color, the fuchsia color. So I don't know. It was just a thought. And I'm just going to go with it. So <laughs> I'm going to try to incorporate the fuchsia as much as I can without it looking tacky. <laughs> so that is it you guys this is my spread i hope you guys have enjoyed this if you have any questions about any of the products i used my blog post will be linked below with all the details if you make any purchases at spiegelmomscraps.com make sure you use my code which is caddy15 and i hope you guys have enjoyed this i will see you guys soon with another video bye